The symptoms of depression in the elderly are pretty much the same as everybody else, such as a, a, a loss of sleep or insomnia, loss of appetite, um, tiredness, tearfulness. But what is remarkable about the elderly is that when, when they are depressed, uh, they tend to be forgetful and get confused. And this may look pretty much like a dementia, which is why um, when, we, when we diagnose dementia, we have to make a differential diagnosis. We have to find out if there are no symptoms of depression. And quite often, uh, depression can present as one of the first symptoms of dementia. Um, the, the, there's various uh, factors uh, such as uh, loneliness. Many of them may have lost a partner or the children may have moved out of the house. Um, there, are, there could be other social uh, factors because the elderly can also be affected by whatever it is that affects us. Things like deaths, uh, things like uh, sometimes even substance abuse can lead to depression or they may simply have the clinical depression where the cause cannot be immediately determined. Well, it depends on the setting of the person. I mean, people in big cities can, can go straight to, to psychologists or social workers or their general practitioners. And people in rural areas, really, the, the nearest clinic would be the first point, uh, point of call because uh, we've done a lot of work as said, like in, in, in teaching people working in communities, in community services centers to recognize and refer depression higher. You know, self-help, it's very difficult to, to help yourself when you're de depressed because the, the, the first thing that happens when a person is depressed is that they lose insight. That is the very first, uh, the ability to realize that there is something wrong with you. And quite often people with uh, depression uh, are in denial. So the help would, that we're talking about would probably come from family members who realize that the mommy or Grand, grand daddy is not what they used to be and they, used, they, they, they should refer them immediately but as far as self is concerned that's very difficult because all mental disorders uh, take away the first important uh, uh, you know uh, uh, attribute of ourselves to, 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 to have that is inside They should uh, uh, definitely refer them to, to sources that I mentioned before, such as uh, the local clinics, general practitioners, um, social workers, psychologists, because now we, we have quite a, a spread of professionals around. I think that's the first part of call. But equally important is to help the person understand that this is a, a depression and this probably is about you, uh, so that you can get the necessary help that you need. My message of hope is that depression is, is treatable. Um, we have a modern uh, medication, which are, you know, uh, to a large extent free of side effects, and they are very effective in treating depression. And most depression is treatable. So it's not everyone who's going to be on treatment for the rest of their lives, uh, but only specific, certain specific types of depression. But the message of hope is that depression is diagnosable and is treatable.